Hello everyone, today we will continue with the bed mesh. I know it's another thing about the kit, how is the bed. To uh, see the bed mesh, we need one plugin. To install that plugin, you need to go your settings page. And since I'm using the uh, another plugin that allows me to change the interface, my menu is up in here, but if you are using the default user interface, the option will be on the left so on the left you need to go to the plugin manager in here it's listed uh, the plugins those are installed on your os to download new plugin you need to click and get more in here you need to search for bed visualizer since i already have it's not listing it's not showing me but you need to find bed visualizer in here so it will find you one and just click install it will install it after that uh, just say restart it will restart your octoprint and it will be ready to use yeah since i have here it's not listing it's not listed on the this page so another thing is you need to edit your config again i'm using this uh, war on document i edit this part on my config so again you need to select your uh, built in here you need to delete the other ones and uncomment what you have uh, it's important that because i used the wrong one i followed a, another video and uh, used copied that config in mine and it gave me very strange result if you see that yeah and if, if i'm not wrong it was showing 1.5 millimeter difference as it also can be seen in here so i don't know which input is causing that or on in the config what i mean but if you are using the wrong configuration you may get wrong uh, output what i'm trying to say so follow this one and add this part in your printer for example it's in here for mine and again save your config and restart your clipper and yeah that's all and for now i i stalk my printer i wait i hit it my bed and i hit it my chamber right now back of the chamber is 35 degree but i already got for the bed mesh for the cold right now this is the the bed mesh while my bed is not heated it's finding approximately 0.13 millimeter difference and uh, the thing is i don't know why but earlier i was getting the this result it was only finding point zero point zero eight difference i don't know um, i think i made something wrong i'm not sure but yeah and while i'm getting this mesh my bed was about 50 degree but now in cold i'm getting 0.13 difference i don't know why and yeah we will get the mesh from our heated bed but before that you need to also do a couple settings so go to your bed visualizer settings in here you need to add these in your g commands for the bash made update pro uh, process just copy this one if they, if you see any difference copy this settings and uh, after getting mesh if this graph is not updated once you hit the update mesh now the, the measurement could be out of range so what i'm trying to suggest you while you are doing your first bed mesh change these limits to uh, minus 5 comma plus 5 this can cause the uh, missing graph on your plugin so for your first bed mesh just increase these values and if you see it is lesser than uh, 0.5 or 0.2 is whatever it is after that you can uh, decrease it again in here and hit the save button it will save your settings and after that uh, you need to home your printer first let's home it you can also see in here 
right now it's homing for the all access. Now we need to run quad gantry level to level our gantry. Ah, okay, I mistyped it. Quad, yeah, quad, not quad gantry, gantry. Yeah, now it will uh, level our gantry. Since you don't have any bad mesh data, but it's always good to be on safe side. So uh, run bad mesh clear command. It will normally this command is clearing your bad mesh data. And after that, to measure our mesh, we run bad mesh calibrates. So now it will. I I'm doing five by five. Uh, if you want to change these settings, I will quickly show you how to in the config. Now it's measuring all twenty five points and getting the results. Yeah, once it's finished, you can go your bed visualizer tab and hit the update mesh button now. Now if you can see uh, my middle part is quite okay. It's up to point uh, zero yeah it's up to point zero seven roughly but in the corners it's it's in the corners it has problem it goes up to yeah approximately yeah this is the highest part it goes up to 0.19 so there is uh, there is 0 0.19 millimeter difference between my corner and the middle of the bed I can say roughly so uh, so that means I need to run bed mesh for the big prints or maybe I can direct edit the print start for every print. It's not that much time consuming also. Uh, yeah, it's it's not the best, but it's also not the worst, I can say. And yeah, like I said, the thing is I could also mess up my bed because like I showed you earlier, let me show you again. Uh, because I was getting this 0 0.08 difference earlier. I don't know why. Maybe the heat cycle also caused the, this uh, difference. Could be. I'm not sure. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I think it will give me an issue for uh, uh, only for the big prints. So if my print is it's the 100, 100. 100 and yeah if the the footprint of my print is up to 100 millimeter i can just put in the middle this model and print it without bad mesh i'm assuming but for bigger parts i need to call the bad mesh and use it and yeah if you want it you can run save config command so this command will save the all this probing data and uh, adds to your config file or if you will not use it you can directly say bad mesh clear again it will clear all this data and will assume the all this point as a zero now now about the uh, config uh, these are the uh, the same config in the in the here in here i did i only changed this one because it was giving me issue with this value once this value is two the the issue was the prior something i am i don't remember exactly so i increased that one and solved my issues and you can decrease the speed but it's i i tried to decrease speed maybe it's affecting the mesh data uh, to be honest, I only tried once, but it was same, so I increased again. 
So yeah, this is the horizontal Z move. If I'm not wrong, this is the the it's saying now it will be go up five millimeter and probe it. This is the min and max value of your bed. So it will with this value, it's creating this five by five matrix because I probing five by five, like I said. And I don't know these are so, but they are, these are the default value from the uh, document. And if you want to. Yeah, uh, like I said, you can do the three by three, seven by seven, nine by nine. It's it's your choice. But if you want nine by nine, so you are just typing nine comma nine. That's all. And of course, you need to delete or command the old value. And if you are changing your probe count, you need to change also relative reference index. Formula is given in here for the relative reference index. So if you are doing nine by nine, the formula says that we need to multiply this nine times nine is equals to eight one and eight one minus one equals to 80 and 80 divided by two equals to 40. So this is the, uh, your new value for the relative reference index. So you need to put 40 in here and delete or command this one. And after that, hit save button and restart your clipper. After that, this new config will be activated for you. That was it for the bed mesh for this episode. And in the next one, I will try to do a lessons learned episode. Uh, with that, I will go through the whole manual and I will mention what did I wrong, what you should be doing or what you should not be doing, etc. etc. Yeah, it will be a, like a small tips and tricks. I think it will be useful for the new starters. And yeah, that was all. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one.